Hello dear chess lovers and chess experts. Grandmaster Sengishikov is in Alista, commenting on the games of the third Grand Prix tournament. Every day I will be commenting one of the games of each round, and at the end of the round, I will be writing a short summary of all of the games from that round. Today, let's take a look at the game Ranjabov Chaparino. E4. The most suitable move here. The reason for that is that in the entrance to the chess neighborhood here in Alista, there is a statue to the Great Combinator, a fictional character in one of the most popular Russian books, whose favorite move was indeed E4. C6, the Karokan. A popular variation in our time. White is taking over space and confining black pieces. For example, now it's difficult to develop the 9G8. But as they say, every cloud has a silver lining. Black was able to actively develop the usually forever passive light squared bishop and come up with a solid pawn structure, one that we usually see in the French defense. White is boldly arguing against Black's achievements. Now White has prepared a new series of blows to the Black Bishop. For example, h4, and in the case of h5, there will be the move at knight f4. Counter play in the center. The best method to ward off the opponent's attack on the king or queen side. The control of the square b4 is the biggest problem for White. Notice that the pressure is increasing. With the knight on c3, so without the resource of the pawn at c3, keeping the pawn structure in the center is almost impossible for white. And this trade of pawns, because black can answer by capturing on e5, leads to dangerous variations. A subtle move. Chekharinov is offering to his opponent to play f4 and keep the very important pawn e5. But to that, there's most probably a prepared unpleasant check, queen f4. Rajabov is taking his time to think on this one. Looks like he didn't review this particular variation this morning. On the other hand, that's not a new move. It has been played many times. For example, one of the more recent ones was seen in the game in 2002, Anand against Motilev. Other popular moves in this position were knight e5, h5, and other moves. This position is very rich in terms of answers. The following variation would have been safe for black, and so on. A novelty. Black is again not taken on e5. The reason for that is that he is behind in development, and the knight on e5 will promote the march of the pawn f2 to f5. Chaparinov's strengthening in comparison to the last games is clear. He is planning to keep the knight blocked post on c6. On the other hand, we can also clearly see the downside of Black's move. He is risking to be playing down a pawn. Without serious analysis, actually on the other hand, I'm not going to finish the thought. It's clear the Bulgarian Grandmaster analyzed and understood all the pluses and minuses in this position. The Azerbaijani will have to do that work at the board, and without the help of the computer. In the first game like this was played h5, and this variation. And here, black, after winning back the pawn, had a great position. Again, that was the game Matalev Anand that was played in 2002 in Moscow. On the other hand, later there will be f found a better move to the move h5 in the game of Shamoy of Grabozov that was played in Moscow in 2006. Uh, 2006. White played g5, and after rook c8, he got powerful initiative. F4. After a long pause, Timur made a no move. Some people came up to me in the press center and explained that the move 9 g e 7 has already been played before, 
Not so long ago, in the game Kunasa Pavechkin and Haunted Mind 6 of this year, it's just that it hasn't been put in all of the databases, and Rajabov actually made the move down the known path. Ivan is making the moves he prepared at home all on his own. In the case of H5, White could realize the idea of the blockade in the style of David Bronstein. F5, E takes F5, G5, and the bishop G6 would stay forever a stone in the wall. A correct choice. After bishop takes D4 and knight C6, White wouldn't have enough time to consolidate the center. There's the threat of the blow to c2 with the queen jumping to a5 and maybe even something else. Well, that's a novelty for sure. Chaparinov is really risking, taking two templates to capture a behind pawn in such a difficult position when the king in the center isn't something anyone would just do. But if nothing else, the Bulgarian grandmaster has always had boldness. He's ready to risk more than anyone. And then again, in the situation, White is risking as well. He has opened up on both sides. By the way, that behind pawn c2 could cover up the king in the case of the queen's side castle, so its role really shouldn't be diminished. In the variation from the anonymous people of the earlier mentioned secret game was played knight c6, and this variation. The later battle is unknown, but we know that the result of this game was, in fact, a draw. The queen is a bad blocker. Besides, it's necessary to kick out the opponent's bishop from c2. The time on the clock is as follows. Rajabov has an hour, Chaparinov has an hour and a half left. Almost every move that Chaparinov makes is a small shock. That guy can really surprise. The obvious retreat bishop g6 he probably decided against since the bishop could be subjected to the typical f5. For example, after the long side castle, h5 is no good due to f5, e takes f5, and here it's important to look up the very calm move bishop g2. White is pushing through, as he should, the square d5 and is getting a strong attack. 